one and we are live all right so cool let me go ahead and do some shares here and then we'll kick it off um man what time is it over there is that it was it like eight something i forgot yep 8 p.m dang and you have the right the rise location right where's that at by the way Hey, what time is it? Is it? Oh, I can hear echo. You guys got it playing? <laughs> yeah, I was going to share it to uh, the other groups. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and share it. Uh, I'll just share it to two locations, then you guys go ahead and do your thing. Uh, it's lagging. Come on. Why is it lagging? Yeah, we'll kick it off. Hey everybody! That uh, two's already on there, man. What's up, two? Two, you gotta be a top. Yeah, you are a top fan. I need to send you a t-shirt. <laughs> hey, two, you hear you hear us fine? By the way, um, check. I'm doing a new uh, setting on my mic. If you can uh, let me know how my mic sounds like, that would be awesome. Uh, I'm gonna share this. <laughs> <laughs> going on today you guys, you guys are joining us we're gonna have an awesome so if you guys in california let us know give us a shout out uh we'll give you a shout out on the show what's up too what's up sifu and gola and matthew christopher yeah man why don't you call their names out while i do some shares here yeah Two, can you, two, two, can you hear us? And uh, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Anybody, any, any California people in the house? Give us. Yeah, a what's shout all, out. what's all the California guys at, man? It's only eight o'clock, man. <laughs> I'm still at my office. <laughs> These guys are some real hustlers, out yeah, here. Yeah, uh, Linda, I'm, Linda, I'm giving away. I'm giving away free pass to our night market. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. When is that? When is that? By the way, you guys our do night a market right? uh, every other Saturday, so it's it's this Saturday night. Is there? Is it a paid thing that you? Uh, no, it's it's free to come. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Oh man! All right, free pass. There you guys go. But Christopher, um, we we're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> We'll right, talk about me them. winning later. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do what Trump did last night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it though. I didn't hear what you said. Hey, he what's did. up, this for Trump? No, Trump bad, right? I think last he, night he, Trump, Trump kind of tweeted. Well, I don't know what he did. He kind of declared early. Oh, he did. He declared early. I think so. Something like that. He kind of made a remark about him winning early. So I, I thought he said something like he was a uh, he was a bit frustrated or something like that. That's why I heard and people were like, "Oh man, I can't believe he said that." Or something. I don't know. We'll see I, mean, I am in the I am in the lead, and uh, all the all the precincts are collected. Uh, it's a hundred percent collected, but they're still waiting for other counts like late late uh, send in and stuff like that. So. I really, I really don't want to say anything until I call the county clerk and confirm it. You can at least say something. Well, I'm in the lead, <laughs> so I, I'm in the lead. If it's a close race, but I'm in the lead. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a shout out here. Hey, two, two, two here is a top fan from uh, Minnesota right here. Uh, how do you guys read her name? You guys, is, you read her name earlier? Seafood. Seafood, um, seafood, seafood, go laugh. Oh man, she's a seafood, huh? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Matthew, what's up, Matthew? Uh, Christopher, yo, yo, um, Highlanda, Florida, represent. Uh, let's see here, two, two say you can hear, so that's pretty good. And then, yeah. uh, Achi, is that, is that it is? Achi Chua, there you go. Yeah, uh, Vipster, that's my uncle. Montana, 
Montana blood here? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Montana blood is the red state, man. Eh? I think oh. I see. <laughs> I can't because it's like my button here is is hiding. I, I'm assuming it's blood. I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm just assuming. It is. <laughs> so that's it. Is that, is that what says? Okay, there. Yeah. We go. Uh, and Doa, Doa from uh, Jamon representing. So representing All right. Cali. All right, let me let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, you got a good amount of people here. Um, you guys, let us know where you guys are at. I'd love to hear where everybody's at. Uh, we want to see California represent because these guys are from California, right? What is it? Fresno? Is that is that Fresno? Yep. Fresno. Oh, yes, Fresno. Represent the armpit of the state. The what? The armpit of the state. You know? the armpit. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Is that is that is that a term you guys quoted in Fresno? The armpit. No, it's just it's just something to make fun of people. <laughs> All right. I all call right. it Central Valley, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, any California people represent, give us a give us a thumbs up, you know, or uh, any any where you guys are at, just uh, just let us know, and we'll, we'll we'll give you a shout out on the show. Uh, tonight's show is number thirty five among hustlers, guys. So tonight we got California Moan Chamber of Com Commerce right on the show. Yeah. So, um, man, I remember talking to you guys um, that one time I came visit, and you guys said you guys were doing something big, you know, and I was like, what are you guys doing? You guys are like, oh, we do something about chamber of commerce and stuff like that, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, okay, we'll see if these guys go through, because, you know, a lot of more people, they talk, they talk, and just talk, and they don't do it, you know, and here you guys done it, so... Uh, congratulations to you guys, um, and you know, and I don't know anything about it. I mean, all I know is it's it's if you need something to do with business, you go there and they'll help you out and stuff like that. But is that? I mean, let's start out with that, right? Go. So, can you guys? Can we start by how you guys came up with this idea, both of you guys, and you know, and when? I mean, you guys are both partners in this, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. we're founders. We're founders of the Chamber of Commerce. But um, to, to answer your question, how we started this, it goes right back to networking and, and connecting. And uh, Vi and I, um, we're both first, but we actually don't really know each other. <laughs> and, and we we got connected because uh, I was blasting in social media with all the stuff that I was doing. Yeah, and, uh, he was connected to me on uh, LinkedIn, so he reached out to me and. He said, hey, let's meet. So we met, talked a little bit, and after a while, we talked a little bit more. And uh, it just it just to develop more into, because when he first met me, he was really into uh, more politics and stuff. And then, okay. we, and then, but he already started talking about business and, and, and stuff in there. So you're like, hey, you know, come and join us. I network with us. We're networking with business. And after a while, it came into this pro networking. And then yeah. it came into the chamber just blossoms on there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, um, I mean, this is before I me. Mean, you guys did. I mean, oh, what's it? I was gonna say. Um, uh, they had scratched that because I was gonna go somewhere else with that because I thought it was important too. But so, so you two live in what? In the same town, same last names. <laughs> Didn't know each other, right? Oh. And That's correct. Know, we don't know each other. Is that, is that what it is? Where I mean, what, what, he... and then it just took like started with networking, you know, and we just and we met each other. And then, you know, later on, uh, I think, yeah, it's like, young. if they want, if they are no, oh, no, Mona, yeah, he has like a grandpa to me, you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's yeah. not go with that then, <laughs> but yeah, but. But um, that's kind of how we, we, we met and started with networking. And then, you know, um, you know, um, we we kind of gotten to know each other, uh, what each other is good at. And like Yes said, it, we started with the uh, BizPro networking. And that's when you came to and we uh, we did those networking events. And, you know, and and then we realized that because of the dynamics of businesses and 
in uh, California, uh, a chamber of commerce would be more suitable for some of the things that we want to do and some yes. of the things that we want to push, you know, because because a chamber of commerce uh, offers just so much for the community, especially especially if we're, we're trying to advocate directly for the Hmong community. Right. It, it, that that was where I was trying to go with is the is the biz program. I couldn't come up with the name, but it was yeah. uh, you guys did a couple of, of events with that, right? Oh, yeah, we did it with the first year and we did it, we actually did like um Asian Business Expo, you know. Okay. Yeah. And we that's we the got first a, that's the first expo in, in yeah. uh, Fresno yeah. for Asian. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the first time that a city official and Fresno know about Hmong and Asian business in Fresno, you know? Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then and then became then you called it BizPro. Yes. Well that was Bizpro yeah, Network. that that was through the that was through the company BizPro Networking. The Asian oh, okay. Business Expo was an event that we did through oh. the company BizPro Networking. Okay. So then and then you were like, All right, there's something to this, right? And then yep. is that is that how Mo Chamber of Commerce came up, or I mean, how did you come up with Mo Chamber of Commerce? Well, it kind of, I mean, the chamber itself, I think uh, it was in Voss Mine a long time ago, too. Uh, but one of the things that we saw was a bigger picture of how, um, how we could um, reach out to our community a little bit better and build that bridge between uh, our community and the other communities. Because um, in business, you can't just be doing business in your little community or in your little corner. You have, you have to build that bridge and uh, uh, work with the other communities too. And this is uh, for the future and also for the, the kids that are growing up because if we could uh, establish this and build this bridge, all they need to do is just walk across, get connected to all the business that we have already connected with. And, um, and they could just go on from there instead of trying to search for all the information that they need. You know? Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you started something that that's great that, you know, it's like kind of like a foundation pretty much. For... Yeah. And like you said, I, I've been, I've been running the chamber. I've been talking about the chamber of commerce for a long time before I met. Yeah. I, you know, I run it by a lot of other people. I just couldn't find the right people to help me do it. You know, and like it, it it's, you have to be crazy to do this, okay? Because this is a lot of work. It, it's a lot of work. Like I, like right now, I'm supposed to do an invoice for one of our contracts and I haven't done it. So after this, I'm gonna do the invoice so that we can get paid, you know? <laughs> gotcha. So, so, all right, so let's go into it. Like what is like the Chamber of Commerce? Just so people don't, that don't know, because I kind of have some clue, but I don't have the exact idea of what, what it is or what, what it's there for. All right, for, I'll cover a part and then I'll leave back on the, I'll cover the other part. Um, um, but before I go into that, I just want to explain a little bit for you guys to understand that, that like Ross said, it's hard to, to do something like this, but, it, but it's, it's doable if you can get the right people on board. And one of the things that I love about Vaughn is because he, does, he does his part and I do my part without anybody telling us we need to do those part. So, I built the connection, I bring the connection, I bring the resources, they hand it over to Va, they create the program on there. So uh, it works very well. And while we're still doing our other uh, business, our other jobs, and, um, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's working very well right now because we're doing it from the base up. So uh, to go into your question about the Chamber of Commerce, what is it? It's, it's an association, it's kind of like an association uh, that allows you allows our business community to come together to connect, find resources, um, learn from each other, uh, find business connection that uh, can support your business. Like for instance, I always tell people, you know, if you connect with the right business that have your clients, guess what, you don't have to pay a lot of money to, for advertisement. The reason why, like I'm a realtor, so the reason why Insurance PNC will want to connect with me because when I uh, when I list a, a house or, or when I when somebody buys a house and I help them, guess what? They need they need the insurance to close to close that house, right? Okay. So that insurance person that I, I know I'll probably send over to them because I know they're gonna help them mm -hmm. and they're gonna help me close this deal. So by them following me, they're gonna always get deals from from me without having to uh, pay for uh, a lot of advertisement. 
and a, and a, a chamber allows you to get those connections. And not only that, but it allows you to learn about business uh, because uh, we have we have different types of business in there. So from insurance to uh, marketing, digital marketing. So we put out workshops that allows people to business owners or even people that want to be in business to come and just learn uh, about those subjects and take those back and help their business grow. And um, that's that's just the little part on there. And, the other part where we we built the connection with organization and uh, city officials that allows us to get to the other resources to break down, just like uh, Val was talking about. He has to do an invoice man, because we were partnered up with another organization to bring resources in uh, uh, and for our community. And through that, they pay us uh, a stipend uh, for for doing those work in there. So uh, that's that's why it's crucial that. If you're in business or if you want to learn about business, you should connect with people uh, in Chamber of Commerce because they have all the stuff in there already. Yeah. And you don't need to be uh, running around uh, finding, uh, trying to find all this information. You can actually go to, to the always tell them, come to us, ask us a question what you need. We can send you to, to those people that know about those areas. We don't need to know all those areas, but we know those people. So that's why it's crucial that you just come straight to us. You don't have to run around. And I'll let Bob talk a little bit about um, the other side of the, uh, the chamber. Yeah, tell, tell us like what you guys have done so far like to help a business. Like, Give us an example. Yeah, one of the examples that we, we've done, um, so before I go into detail about the other part, right? When COVID first hit, right? Yen and I take a, took a look at the, uh, the legislation language, right? And I developed a program, and I show, and I, I remember I, show, I was talking to you about it, Chai, and I was talking to a lot of people about it too. And yeah. we developed a program to to just address it with Hmong business, so we helped them apply for their EIDL advance, something like that. And then when when Fresno County was going to revise all the business, right? We we were in partnership with a, a few organizations to to reach out to the business of how to how to successfully open, right? And then. Uh, this multiple, this third round of, 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 of the city of Fresno had money, like grant money, like free money to business, grant to business. We yeah. participate in that. A year mentioned about, you know, the, the whole invoice thing. That was one of the programs that we participated in. Like, so that was the city save our small business grant in the city of Fresno. So what we did was we took that and we went outside of, uh, we went our members and outside of our members too to help uh just help any random mong or asian business so we were we we actually actually like i'm actually uh like i lost count of how many people that actually got funded that i that i, that I helped with you know wow. and so like they all got about five thousand to ten thousand grant to to help their business so that's just a little bit of what we've done um you know we've been through um we also have a business formation or business consulting service with us too so we so like we have like various clients that we provide that service for free you know wow what is that uh, like that what is that like business services i mean that's like general but what 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 do you what is that so you know? if you if let's say that you want to start a business right and you, and you want to know how to start a business then we consult yeah. with you for free or if wow. you're an existing business and yeah. you want you want to like you want capital infusion or you want to do like some other marketing type or, or you need technical assistance for your existing business right we also wow. provide that free <laughs> wow that's crazy yeah yeah what do you mean i never heard i mean so if you I okay guess. so if you need to create an llc we do that yeah we help you for free wow dude that's like or if you want to become a nonprofit, we help you for free oh wow yeah. dude i mean that's like that's like you go into a lawyer and they're saying, "Hey, can you help me create an LLC?" And then they charge you like what, like two thousand dollars or so to help create. Yeah, eight thousand, six thousand, and then you you come to Hmong Chamber and like it's free. Yeah. So I mean, I I know it's Hmong Chamber or Commerce. Do you guys help just Hmong people, or do you guys help? No, we know? help everyone. Actually, actually, I just I just had a client who wants to start a ride share app business, right? And then he. 
he's not Hmong. And I just got done on uh, yesterday. I was talking to him on the phone and setting an appointment and, you know, doing my statement of work with him, you know, and getting him through California ride share uh, licensing and stuff like that and connecting him with, uh, you know, uh, back end, uh, back end uh, developers and uh, the dynamics of what a ride share app is, you know. So. Wow. I mean, where are you, where are you guys getting your resources from? Like I, I, you're kind of like a middle middleman, right? Yeah. So they kind of like, they come, Hey, I got a, I got a business problem. Where are you guys getting the back end part which says, Hey, these guys are willing to help you out. So we don't, we don't like, so we don't do anything. We just know people that does it. We just connect them with the people. So how, I mean, are you constantly going out and networking with people too? Yeah, I'm constantly, I'm, so me and yeah, we're constantly networking with people. I'm constantly talking to different people that knows different things. I, I you, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades, you know, to know where things are. Like if you want to start a food truck, like I know lenders that specifically do food trucks, you know, like unsecured local food truck, you know, and you got to go through the process, you know. So, wow, that's pretty yeah. cool. But let's let's yeah, drop right. back to the other side. Of, okay, we're we're going going like this. Yeah, yeah. we we. we when, when COVID was in here, we, we are out there connecting a lot of people. What people yeah. understand is that you can connect in person, social media, but you have to be actively doing that. And uh, even right now with COVID, I could sit home all day, but I could actually build all the connection I need through social media. If yeah. I need a certain connection, I could uh, go and search for it, find those people, connect, uh, bring those people to connect with them. So it's crucial. That's why it, everything leads right back to networking. Uh -huh. Uh, there's certain industry that doesn't uh, doesn't really need that uh, because of investing and stuff. But still, again, you still need to have a right network to help you invest, right? But there's a lot of business that uh, sell product and services that need uh, the right connection that uh, can either promote their product or give them to the right product so they can bring to their business to to sell, make more yeah. money. You know? So, 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 give me an idea, right? So, let's say I'm just a I'm just a homeboy <laughs> and, I, and I, I think I created this nice papaya salad thing and I want to start a business with it. Like, all right. So what, what should I do? I mean, okay. Like I, I contact you guys, right? Like, I, I don't know anything about starting a business or anything. Uh, right. Cause I'm, I think, you know, you need to, to have some sort of business license and stuff like that. So if I was like a just a regular homeboy here, you know, that got this product here, you're saying that you guys can help me set up all this kind of stuff, right? On the back end and kind of maybe you can help me marketing or tell me, you know, is that yeah, so give me give me like a rundown. If if I was to come to you guys, what would you guys kind of point me to the the the, I guess so right. I'll, I'll share a little bit with you in there. I'll, I'll explain the, the, the uh, bigger part of it. You know, you come through us. We, like I said, we don't need to know everything, okay? But we know enough people, you know, in business that that we we can get them to uh, those answers for you. Um, so, like for instance, I usually go and connect, network with people online through a lot of different social media, and if they say, "Hey, get off." I need to, uh, like, for instance, I, uh, a guy reached out saying he needed to start an LLC for, um, to be a handyman, right? And I said, sure, you could start an LLC, we could probably help you out. P other people are messaging him saying, hey, you know, go get a lawyer and pay for it. Sometimes you don't need that whole thing yet. You don't need to put so much money in there. So I said, guess what? I'm going to hand you over to Bob. If I could walk you through the process and you can decide whether you can get an LLC or a sole proprietor, because sometimes an LLC doesn't make sense. Everybody's like, oh, I'm going to start an LLC right away. It might not make sense. Uh, yeah. And yeah. So, so it's crucial that you actually talk with, uh, with uh, a professional that, that knows uh, that can walk you through that. And I usually say that to Vi. Vi is one of the consultants. Because he uh, actually has a contract with uh, S, uh, SPDC on there. So he does the consulting on, on there. Yeah, I'll let Vi explain a bit more how the process goes. Yes, yeah, so uh, to answer Stephen's question real quick right now, I don't put it together. I will, I will provide a plan for you. 
and review it and facilitate you putting your business plan together. That service is free because there's 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 different type of business plan. So like chai, if you come in, you got a papaya, you got a papaya product, right? So yeah. obviously the first question I'm gonna ask you is do you do you already have a following? Because I will have a series of questions for you. And I yeah. said, hey, let's do some market, let's do some market analysis and market research locally. Let's see, let's see what's selling, let's see what's hot, right? So let's yeah. put let's let's put pen to paper and let's have a plan for you. Once we establish that plan, depending on how you want to market your papaya, if you you want to do it at home, you want to do a college cottage food, or you want to do a food trailer, you want a food truck, or you want to partner up with another business, then we could take a different route, you know, and I'll guide you to the uh, appropriate department of health requirement. And then depending on like the business structure that you want to do, I will guide you to the right business structures. So and let's say that you just want to be Let's say you you make up your mind and say I'm gonna do an LLC because papaya yeah. is risk in a papaya, right? And then I say let's do LL. If if that's what you want, then here's the process to do an LLC and here's the business plan, right? And then let's say that you wanna you you come to a point where your papaya is hitting, right? And say you know what I need money to do a food truck now, right? Then yeah. bam, we, we finish your we finish your traditional business plan, right? Because you wow. need that to get money. And I will connect you to the right funders who actually just strictly fund food trucks, you know, stuff like that. So, dude, that's great, man. That's great. So, you guys are actually providing some sort of roadmap for somebody who wants to do business. Yeah. And you're kind of, kind of directing them the right direction, how it should be, with all the connections along the way, right? Yeah. So, like, and I participate in weekly. SBA meetings. I participate. I participate in weekly local CDFI community organization meeting. Uh, there's other nonprofit that I participate in. Local initiative. Uh, I, I pay attention to city hall, uh, po local politics. So if you don't pay attention to these things, it's going to be extra hard for you to be a more dynamic uh, consultant. You know. Okay. Um, cool. I want to bring it back, man, about about what a chamber. The other side of the chamber. One of the things is that a chamber already has the established name already, right? And then a chamber is also, can also act as a advocacy piece for your specific community. So we're Hmong chamber. So we're specifically advocating for Hmong business. And let's say that if there is a pot of money coming to Fresno, right? We're gonna, we're gonna go to that meeting and say, look, we represent we, we're, we're the Hmong Chamber of Commerce, so we are representing Hmong business and we want to see how much that resources can be directed to our community. That's advocating for our community. Another one is, yeah, there's a lot of Hmong, there's in, in the Hmong directory, there's like hundreds, like almost over 2000 Hmong business. But City Hall doesn't know that there's 2000 Hmong business because we don't do ribbon cutting. We don't we don't contact a local elected official. A chamber can help you with with all that stuff. We could we wow. um, I I have we have the experience to connect with their the chief of staff in their their office. And if the and, and if the elected official don't come, they'll send somebody with a proclamation to do a grand opening. So they not they they now know that there's X amount of Hmong business opening every week. So let's say for example, if we do two grand opening a week, city hall is gonna know that man, there's like two Hmong new business every week now for the past. X amount of months, right? That now is gonna, they're gonna have that in the back of their head because now they know that these things exist and they know that there is a group of, of people that has economic impact in their city, right? Yeah. And it goes back to what you mentioned about what did we do earlier and I said about, I asked her about helping with COVID. I'm gonna tell you, if you don't have an organization specifically designed to advocate and navigate for your community, your community is going to miss out on resources and opportunities and money. Like uh, what somebody, um, there you go. Uh, like Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce, they they have so they they have like I think they're like one of the best model out there. They like they have they have all the program I'm talking about. For us, we're just still building it right now. We're still going through the process. Uh, like there you go. Um, Macy Hurst said that. Uh, uh, you know, Western Chamber is a CFI that can help business, right? See, a CDFI is a Community De Development Financial Institute. That means that that is a nonprofit or a business that could provide below market rate loans 
to businesses or small micro loans or loans, unsecured loans to business when business need extra capital. So business don't have to struggle or worry about uh, getting capital from certain banks, you know? So yeah. that is the other piece of a chamber is to redirect resource to advocate for our, our, our business, you know? And it's really the chamber primary goal is really to, to serve its business. And, you know, like I said, economic impact is such a broad term you know I, yeah. you know, I i know i'm rambling on but this is the last one i talked to you about disparity gap and equity right we yeah, talk about that, that yeah, yeah. social so there there's a social part of that and there's also a business and economic part like mm -hmm. we have all these small business like covid covid grants and covid relief right i'm gonna tell you right now i don't even think that the Hmong community in Fresno got 10% of those COVID money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there so was, either. Yeah, because yeah. there was a lack of, of, of opportunity, because there's a lack of equity there for us. And then, and then and the disparity of having someone to advocate for us, we don't have it. But, but most business, they don't complain about it because they don't know. If you don't know, you just don't know, you know? So. Right. And, and, you know, uh, I, I know we're getting, it was <clears throat> close to it, but but to start a business, don't go in it alone, right? If you go in it alone, you're gonna set yourself up to fail, right? So I know this because you know I'm kind of facing that right now. You know, I'm trying to do I have an Airbnb business, I'm trying to trying to get, you know, I'm trying to clean stuff myself and you know, I'm getting worn out. But if you have people to back yourself up like like a chamber like what you guys are saying to kind of help you out uh like during covid you needed funding or some sort of money from the stimulus these guys i mean i was talking to uh bob before and he's saying he was helping people out doing the stimulus money right yep yeah so how many i mean how many people have you done with this i lost count like even even the stimulus check i was helping people out this is the irs page this is where you go like we were just yeah. doing it because and you know nobody's paying us to do this, Chai. I'm just, like during that time, nobody is paying us to do this. We're doing it because that's the drive, you know. And but this is all part of being a member in the chamber. Is that correct? No, you don't even have to be a member for us to help you. Wow, wow. Okay, you're just doing it out of good deed, then you know. But yeah. if you're in the chamber, I'm assuming you guys have some way to notify your business uh, members, I guess, and say, hey, you know, make sure you do this and this, right? Is that yep. is that that's how it works? Cool. Let me um go ahead. Yeah. So let me uh, add a. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The the goal the goal is um uh, just so you understand that yes they don't have to join but they need to understand that the chamber of commerce is a uh, it's a, it's a voice for the community. Okay. And if you don't join as a business, if you don't join to support the chamber then uh, our voice is not that big. The reason why we want you to join, yes, there's a fee, but understand this, as a, as a business, it's a write-off, okay? It's a business expense. If you don't have any business expense, um, uh, then guess what, you're gonna pay more taxes, right? So, well, let's so, do it. Uh, Tell us how much is, is it to join? Uh, it's, uh, me from right now is what, two, 250? Okay. Or, am I right, Bob? So, so the goal is for, 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 for our business community to come together. And the reason for that is that we have a bigger voice. Now we can speak louder. Um, imagine, um, like Bob said, about ribbon cuttings. Uh, having us to um, ribbon cuttings almost every month and calling this uh, councilman for every different district because we have business in a different district. This one, they were like, whoa, who's all this among this is popping up. Now they're aware of us. They know that we're there, um, and they need to. Uh, we are also uh, a, you know, as as people that want to run for office, they are need meet us too uh, at a certain point, right? So so they need to pay attention to us. And we're growing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so um, so we say, hey, we're here. Come over here. We wanna we wanna work with the city too. And uh, it just goes right back to where I was talking about getting the fundings and that are coming into city. Yeah. So we, if we have a big group within our, our, our chamber, 
all, all I need to do is just reach out to these uh, organizations and say, hey, you know, I heard that money's coming in. It so, needs to get to our community too. It needs to get to our business too. Because most of the time, it's not getting to our, our community. So you need that, uh, that voice to speak up. Uh, because you say, you can say, I'm a business owner. I could do that all by myself. But guess what? You're going to be wasting a lot of your time because you, need, you should be focused on running your business. That's right. And when we need this stuff, come to us, then we give it to you, and you go back and run your business. You know, it makes it a lot easier on yourself. Awesome. Awesome. So to clarify, the fee was what? Was 250 Is that right? Annually? I think so. It's right around there. I don't have that. Uh, okay. okay. Is it annual fee? Okay. All right. And then, uh, well, you know, I mean, how do people get a hold of you guys? Uh, how do people get a hold of that? Is, is there a website, first of all? Yes, we, we have a uh, temporary website now at camongchamber.com. Uh, okay. okay. All right. And then, oh. they, they, yeah, CA, CA, like Charlie Alpha Mong Chamber com, And then, or they could just, they could just uh, look us up on Facebook, um, uh, message us, or um, my, my, my phone number, my private cell phone is pr pretty much public now. So um, anybody could just call, text me, and don't, don't uh, spam me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Va, how do you set up the LLC again? <laughs> <laughs> It's real easy. Just go to your Secretary of State website. <laughs> so, so uh, one of the questions was: uh, Is this service for Cali only? No. I, oh, no. So, um, well, they, they have um, just understand that they, you there's a chamber in every city. Okay, so if you don't have a mom chamber in your city, you could go to that chamber and go connect with them. But there's if you're in Minnesota, Wisconsin, they have chamber of commerce up there. Connect with that. Yeah, they got but everyone. You can't connect with us. You still virtual, all this stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, yeah, those of you guys just joined, we're talking with the Moan Chamber of Commerce uh, in California. I guess, how would you call it? Would you call it California Moan Chamber of Commerce or the other way? Yes. It, does, yes. does it really matter? California so, Moan Chamber of Commerce. Okay, so, you, so uh, those of you guys just joined us, we're talking with California Moan Chamber of Commerce. Um, if, if you're looking for some sort of business uh, networking or uh, help you out with your business or so, uh, hook up with these guys. Uh, you don't have to be Hmong people, uh, but do you guys mostly target Hmong people uh, to help them out? Is it more? Is that more your focus? Yeah, I, I, I would like to target more Hmong people, but the majority of my clients are not Hmong. Wow. Okay. So we need to get some Hmong people in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Our target market is, is our Hmong community. Uh, but we service anybody, okay? Anybody come so, to us, work with them. So let's give let's give some examples, right? So like, when people talk about businesses, like okay, like do I do I really need to set up a business, right? Like let's give some examples, like a small home based business, like multi level. Can you guys help them out? Uh, um, set it up as an LLC uh, in a sense. If they wanted to, yeah, um, you can set up like that. So they want to learn how to set it up. We yeah. walk them to say that we yeah. walk them through that process, but anything else outside that, they can have to talk. Yeah. Outside that, they can have to talk yeah. to their company. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Bob's like, it's, like, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of show, should know that because <laughs> that's kind of their hope. But all right, so nah, we, well, we can't say that. We can't say that the upline should know that. I think we're expecting the upline should know that. I think we're expecting too much. <laughs> all right, so what if you're they like, uh, so what if you're they like, <laughs> What if you sell stuff on on Facebook? You know, like Mongkanja and stuff. Mongkanja and stuff. Uh, it's up to you if you want to register and file. You know, yeah. register and file. You know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, no one's gonna, no one's gonna be the Facebook cop. No one's gonna be the Facebook cop and snitch on you, or you know. Uh, but if you, if uh, but if you, if you sell Mong clothes on Facebook and you're and, and you're and you're and you're and, and you're and you're bringing in good revenue, and you would like to grow your business to the next, like to grow your business to the next level. Then yeah, let's let's have a conversation about the next level because conversation about the next level because you already established a you know a following, you established a, a following, you established a a um, a market. You already have a, a brand. You know you probably have a brand recognition already. So uh, it, there's very little planning and market research and analysis, and we just go through the plan. You know we. 
and that's it that you want to do um now that you want to you need you need capital right yeah it's capital, right yeah it's because yeah. to because to to move your business to the next to move your business to the next level, you you're gonna need some capital, right? And 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 if you understand that taking a a, a loan or getting a loan or getting certain capital somewhere will grow your business and bring in more, more your business and bring in more, more revenue, then we go through that process with you. you know? so. That's right. The only way for you to scale is by getting more money to buy more products so you can grow yeah. bigger. So yeah. bigger. So uh and these guys, if you guys have connections, that's awesome. If you have connections, that's awesome. Uh because you're only limited to how much money you can have, how much money you can have to buy your inventory. So that's awesome. Uh that's awesome. Uh so I mentioned earlier if I if I was a if I was a homeboy selling papaya salad and you guys wanna help me out, I can come you wanna help me out, I can come in and have questions have questions and you know you guys help me out uh what else uh what else i think uh, your audio is breaking up there let's see here yeah <laughs> <laughs> You're talking echo for some reason. So go and disconnect and come back in. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Disconnect will come out. Disconnect will come out. What was the question again, Chad? Uh, just to uh, let me let me mute him for a second. All right, so that the feedback is off. But uh, yeah, go ahead and drop drop out and drop drop back in. That it might just be a technical issue. Uh, if you can hear me, but um. Uh, Bob, you can hear me, right, Bob? I can hear you. Okay, cool. I can hear you. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, any sort of business um, questions? I guess you don't answer all of them, but you can kind of direct them to. Yeah, I will, I will be able to answer. I will, I will be able to answer. Yeah. yeah, I won't be able to answer all of them. I don't give out legal advice, or I don't give out legal advice, or 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 tax advice either, because I'm neither uh, because I'm neither uh, an attorney or tax advisor, but I could guide them in the right, but I could guide them in the right direction. You know, um, yeah. I could I could provide tax implication. I could provide tax implication language that are part of specific structure of specific structure and stuff like that. You know, let's say C corp versus S corp. I corp versus S corp. I could say that you know S corp is flow through, a C corp is non flow through, through a C corp is non flow through. You know, I could explain those concepts to you, and you know, it's up to you, and you know, it's up to you. Where you can make a decision on that, you know, a decision on that, you know. Gotcha. And if and it doesn't have to be a business. If, if somebody wants to be a business, if, if somebody wants to be a nonprofit, um, we can help you to we can help you to to become a nonprofit too. Wow. From ranging from board development, to wow. ranging from board development to uh, your filing fee to 1023 fee to 1023. Uh, if your nonprofit qualified for easy short form easy short form we do a short form you know so wow that's pretty cool uh so uh what about if i don't have anything right now i'm already have my business you know set up or i'm already selling stuff i'm st i can still you know kind of come to you guys and say hey you know say hey you know can you help me out or if i already have my llc set up already can you guys help with that too somehow so, so like, if you have your LLC already, if you have your LLC already, then it, it, you will you will have to have specific help. You can't just come say specific help. You can't just come say, I need help to grow my business. I'm mean, like, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, well, what specifically you need help with to grow your business? You need help with to grow your business. You know, so you, you have to be specific. You, you know, 